uh, 94. And then for conversion, we're gonna say this equals, and we're gonna do the same for the conversion. So here's the conversion uh, to 97. That's from our table we did in a prior presentation. Then we're gonna pick up our cost per equivalent unit. So we'll pick up our cost per equivalent unit. We calculated last time, the 21. So this equals the 21. And then this is gonna be the 15 for the conversion. So 21 for materials, 15 for the conversion. And that's gonna give us then the cost of ending work in process. And we will of course multiply those two out. So we've got the units of the 594 times the dollar amount of 21. We're gonna apply out the 12,474 for the materials and then the 297 units times the $15 amount, uh, 4,455. So we'll do that here. This equals the 594 times the 21. This equals the uh, 297 times the 15. And that gives us the 4,455. And then if we sum those two up, this plus this will be the 16,929. So this equals the sum of these two items, the 16, nine.